I don't know how we got on this. I, uh... I'm not really sure, but um, you, you were talking about KDE there. So what are your thoughts mm -hmm. on KDE becoming an official uh, Fedora edition, moving up from being a just a spin? Yeah, I mean, I'm super excited. Uh, as my uh, as my daily driver, I definitely think that it's a uh, it's something that is stable and everyone should should be using if they like you know more Windows style desktops, which mm -hmm. I think I tend to. Um, and I think that uh, Neil especially has put in a lot of work into uh, the KD spin, and there's there's a lot of other people in Fedora KD that are uh, working hard, but I think it's getting what it deserves. It's it should have been a desktop option, like a main option for the longest time. Mm -hmm. I will say, uh, actually, the reason why I started with GNOME originally was because I thought that Fedora KDE was less supported because it was a spin. I was right. like, I'm going to go with the official, what's the default, all that stuff. And I think that a lot of people may not like that that workflow, and but they may still want something that's default. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think that this is a good niche for them. Yeah, I, I do think there is probably a lot of people that have bounced off of Linux after trying one of the whatever whatever distro it is, whether it's Ubuntu, whether it's Fedora, trying the main mm. thing. It's GNOME. It's this weird. Like it's 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 not like impossible to use, but it's weird. It's different. It's it's not yeah. like Windows. It's not like Mac. It's like its own different thing. And for the people that like it, like that's great. More power to you. But yeah. I do think having a flagship, more traditional desktop option is just a good idea. And mm -hmm. it, like my understanding is Fedora KDE has been basically run like an edition anyway. Like this is pretty much just a marketing change. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was always a release blocker for the longest time. At least I think for as long as I've been using Linux, it's been a release blocker. So like if something's wrong, with QA, with Fedora KDE, then they'll actually delay the release. And it, I think it was mainly just procedural issues that kept it from being a full edition for the longest time. Uh, the workstation moniker being one of those, they didn't want to give that up. Mm -hmm. they, want, they want Fedora workstation to mean Fedora GNOME. They, don't want, they didn't want to change it to Fedora, Fedora GNOME and Fedora KDE. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing about because... the name. I don't know if they're going to... Are they just going to yeah. keep calling it Fedora KDE? I've, I've not heard about anything about that. I don't know. Uh, I know that Neil is going to have to start uh, updating like the website, doing all the marketing stuff for that. That's actually stuff that I have to do for Cosmic as well. I need <laughs> to get with the uh, the website people to uh, make the website for the Cosmic spin. Um, and I don't know yet what I'm going to put on it, but uh, I'm sure the website people have some ideas. I, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they've been around. They know how to make spin pages so <laughs> but it's exciting uh and i think that kde being an official edition is long overdue yeah one of the issues kde's traditionally had is the way they handle their releases because different kde components yeah. are released at different timing windows and the nice thing about gnome is it's six months new release like this is why you mm -hmm. have ubuntu and fedora releasing in that same window because it's just it's just convenient, and yeah. I, know, I know KDE is working on cleaning up their release windows. I don't know if they've actually done it yet, but I know they wanted to move to a more, like, stable, this is the cycle that we're doing, it's always going to release at this window. We're going to have our components all releasing at the same window as well, and that will make things a lot easier, because... Um, I believe that's one of the reasons why RHEL dropped it, actually. Because RHEL, up until... Seven? Six or seven? I think it was seven. Yeah. Yeah. Um, had I heard KD... something about RHEL 7 having KD. Mm -mm -mm. Had KD as an option. And I, I don't know when... I, I think they, they had it pretty much since the start. I don't know if there was a point they didn't have mm -hmm. it. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's it, 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 it just been yeah. like a problem for these distros. That the, like, it's fine for like a, an Arch, right? Or a Gen 2, mm -hmm. where you ha it's a rolling yeah. release model. Open but, SUSE, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. But if yeah. you have a, I want to release in April and October because of the other distro, or the other the other desktop we're doing, having one that's doing something different, you know, it's it makes yeah. things annoying. Uh, I know that both Neil Gompa and uh, Nate uh, Nate Graham, mm -hmm. who's uh, actually, I think you did a podcast. Yeah, with him recently, yeah, just the other so week. <laughs> probably needs no introduction, but uh, 
yeah, I think they both would like to change the release schedule. Um, and so to understand it, I think that some some are on a four month release schedule and some are on a six month, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I did see a recent change uh, with Spectacle, like their screenshot tool, but that's being changed to go on the release schedule of Plasma. And that's the same issue. They were having problems with the release cycles not being aligned and Spectacle was either getting too ahead or too behind. Uh, so it, you know, it makes sense to kind of slowly align everything to one release schedule. Mm. And I, uh, since I'm not like... Uh, deep in the weeds in Fedora infrastructure and everything. Uh, mm. I do actually like more often releases, but I know that that's, that just doesn't make sense for a six month release cycle of a distro. Yeah. So I'd be cool with a six month release. I know that uh, Cosmic, they plan on doing yearly releases, which I'm not sure how that's going to work, but uh, yeah. that's what uh, I, I believe that's what Carl said. And I was like, I, I don't know. A lot can change in a year. And uh so I'm thinking. Wait, like not uh, not doing point releases in it, or how how does I'm not I don't know. Serious. I don't know what they mean by that, but it was at it was at a certain talk that I watched. I I wish I had the reference, but uh, I think major releases. So okay. maybe maybe they'll do minor releases, but uh, yeah. So what I have to be thinking about is you know in between these releases, I need to be making sure that everything is up to date, and I'd rather keep a pace that's closer to upstream. Mm -hmm. I've never been a fan of lts distros and lts everything so uh i actually like how neil manages kde in that way mm -hmm. uh they update kde like very often but um yeah uh i'll have to be thinking about that whenever cosmic starts doing official releases right now whenever there's a new alpha i just tag it and we go mm -hmm. and uh most of the time uh those updates just go through without any any issues we are right now like you know it's you can't really expect anything to be stable because it's that alpha. Yeah. Like, you know. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> a tagged release, but it's not a... Like, they've explicitly said they're not doing release. it. Like, yeah. testing for these releases. They, they're going to test it to make sure right. things build, but they're not doing, mm -hmm. like, full QA they would do for a, uh, a full release. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. Back in the day, I wouldn't have even recommended using the tag releases because... Mm -hmm. uh, everything was changing so often and things yeah. still are, but I think we're finally getting to the point where uh, I can recommend staying on a tagged release and using the official Fedora repos. Mm -hmm. For the longest time, I was like, if you want the latest experience, go to my copper. Uh, everything's updated daily, but uh, nowadays you may not really need to. Uh, we're getting to the point where everything is finally stabilizing and uh, they're, you know, they're getting really close and I'm excited for them.